name is Marion Nessel. I'm professor of nutrition food studies and public health at New York University. Well, when I was teaching undergraduate biology, I was given a nutrition course to teach, and it was obvious right from the beginning that you couldn't understand why people ate the way you did unless you understood the way the food system worked. So I got interested in it at that time. Well, the best part is working with people who are growing food and really care about food. And there are so many now, you know, we're in the middle of this incredible food revolution in which so many people are getting interested in growing food, in how food tastes, in special varieties, farmers markets, CSAs, urban farms. I grow food on my terrace. I know all about it. Well, I think it's sun gold tomatoes, that you can grow sun gold tomatoes in pots on a terrace in Manhattan and they'll be absolutely delicious. The idea that food systems have to be industrial in order to feed the world. I'm astonished by how productive very small plots of land can be. And it's scaling up those plots of lands, growing food sustainably, and demonstrating that this is the way to feed the world that I think is the biggest challenge. It may not be the only way, but it's certainly going to be a better way. And I'm excited to see that as the sustainable food movement grows, it puts pressure on industrial agriculture to clean up its act. The secret to sustainable food system success, just do it. Just do it. Get a plot of land, get a pot, get a window box. Just start growing food. It's not that hard to do, and it tastes good. Well, what I do is talk to people all the time, and I do that through my own teaching, through conversations with the press, and with the kind of books I write. I think I'm, my work is quite devoted to that in every possible way. My green dream is to see little plots of land around New York University, the most urban university in the world, growing vegetables for everybody to eat.